Hey guys, this is Dave with Audio Win, and this is the Tanch Gym Origin. If you're watching this review, you've likely already seen some of the other reviews, and you'll know how well it's been received within a lot of the audio community. I will tell you right up front that in my opinion, the attention and praise it's garnered is justified, and I do think it's one of, if not the best single dynamic driver sets currently available for this price point, but there are other good IEMs with varying driver configurations in the two to $300 price range that I still believe give the origin a run for its money. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get started. Included in the box is the IEMs and cable. It also includes a very nice case. It's the same case that comes with the Cara. We then have three sets of switchable tuning nozzles and a really good assortment of ear tips. And of course, I always test the stock tips and these are great. However, I almost always end up going with either the Divinus Velvet tips or the SpinFit W1s. And with the Origin, for me, I just seem to get the best results with the W1s. But again, if you don't have any other tips, the stock tips are quite comfortable. The Origin comes in at 259, so we are pushing pretty close to the $300 mark. It does have the single dynamic driver configuration. The driver is housed in an all metal shell that while it is a little on the heavier side, I don't know that it's actually really any heavier than all the other all metal IEMs out there, but more importantly, it's not uncomfortably heavy, at least not to my ears. It also has a really nice shape on the inside of the shell, so it sits comfortably in my ears. And because of the angle and the length of the nozzle, it gives me good insertion depth as well. So the bottom line is the small amount of added weight doesn't affect the comfort at all. The cable is nice as well. It has two pin connectors at the earpiece and it's terminated in a 3.5. It's not my favorite cable. The Oravetti OD200 cable is currently my favorite, at least for this $200 price point. That being said, again, the Origins cable is very good. It's decent looking, it's constructed well, it's light and it's easy to manage. It's very easy to roll up and store and I haven't had any issues with tangling. Case is nice as well. It's a hard case, but it has padding on the inside. It's also quite roomy, so the IEMs fit nicely inside. And as for the design and build quality of the IEM, I think they did an excellent job. I love the simplicity of the faceplate with the company logo on the side and the origin logo on the other. So yeah, the design, build, comfort, the included accessories are all very, very good for the price. Okay, let's move on to the sound. So as I had mentioned in my opening, I think this very well could be one of the best dynamic driver sets in the two to $300 price range because it does so many things really well as far as its attributes or qualities that I look for in a well-implemented dynamic driver. Now, before I break the sound down, I do want to mention that I tried all three of the nozzles and I was just a little surprised because interestingly, I didn't really notice 
difference between the different nozzles at all. That being said, I don't really care because I don't usually change out nozzles anyways and the Origin sound signature is very good no matter what nozzle I was using. So that's good. So what is the sound signature? Well, it's neutral. Some may consider it to be a little mid forward, even shouty, but to me, honestly, although it does have a little more mid-range energy than I typically like. It never crossed that shouty threshold, at least not to me. And I think it might be because of the way they approached the tuning of the bass, having just a little more mid-bass presence and energy. And what that does is it helps to kind of offset or balance out that extra mid-range energy. So it's neutral and it's very well balanced. Now, there are a couple of areas that I felt could have used just a little tweaking, but these are nitpicks and they're just based on my personal tuning preference. So what about naturalness? Well, it's excellent. Vocals sound natural, instruments sound natural. There simply isn't anything that sounds off or incorrect to me. Again, from a tuning standpoint, it's probably one of the best single dynamic driver IEMs I've heard. But to break things down just a little further, starting with the bass, one thing I did notice on the graph is that there appears to be just a small amount of sub bass roll off, but it looks worse, to be honest with you, on paper than it actually sounds because there is still plenty of sub bass rumble and I never actually felt like I was missing anything from the sub bass. Now, as far as the overall bass presence or quantity, again, it is enough to keep the upper mid range energy in check and kind of keep everything in balance. The only area I feel could use just a tad less energy would be the low mids and not necessarily because it's bleeding into the mids or causing any bloating. It's just, again, based on my tuning preference and that's it. As for bass dynamics, it's excellent. The kick drum impact is solid. It's got good energy. It has punch and tactility. And in terms of overall bass, reproduction, it's just a very well implemented dynamic driver. Now we know one area dynamic drivers can struggle is bass speed. And I don't know that I would say it's struggling necessarily, especially given the price point, but when maybe compared to some BA sets within this price point, like the Performer 5 or even hybrids like the Chopin, I feel like those give me just a little more speed and control. But I would say that as dynamic driver sets within this price range go, the Origin gives me pretty much everything else that I look for in good bass reproduction. I would even say better than the Aria 2. Now then, as we move into the mids, we have a fairly decent amount of energy coming out of the low mids and all the way through the rest of the mid range until you get to about the 800 hertz point and then there's a dip. And what that low mid energy does is bring out not only a sense of warmth and richness to male vocals and, and some instruments as well that land there, but also it adds some note weight which gives instruments a little more naturalness and and tactility. And then after that 800 hertz dip, you have a steady rise and that energy kicks right back up and peaks out around 3K. And it's noticeable because vocals and instruments definitely have good presence. Not that they are too forward, at least to my ear. Again, some people might find them too forward, but they don't seem like they're dominating the mix necessarily, but they do keep the listener's attention and they do have that nice center focus and they are getting the attention they deserve. But what I really love about the tuning approach they took with the mid range, despite the amount of energy in the upper mids, it never sounds peaky or shouty. Somehow it still maintains a very smooth and very clean overall presentation. Now that naturalness and that smoothness also carries right on through into the treble, but it's not overly smoothed to the point of sounding dull. It still maintains 
good treble and upper treble energy as to allow cymbals and any higher stringed instruments to cut through nicely, but it also still manages to keep everything balanced and controlled. Now, just to clarify, the treble and upper treble has good energy, but like I said, its presentation is still what I would consider to be a little more on the smooth or tamed side. And yes, I did say it has good upper treble energy, which is very important to me. It's not perfect, but it's definitely enough to give me good amounts of air and shimmer. And it also helps to add some micro details, which is really nice to hear in a dynamic driver set. And then speaking of details, this set has pretty impressive technical performance for it being a single dynamic driver set. It's the most technical dynamic driver set I've heard for it being under $300. As a matter of fact, it's basically on par with my best technical performing IEMs regardless of their driver configuration under $300, which again is kind of insane for this being a single DD set. So detail levels are very good throughout. So mid-range detail is good, as is its treble and upper treble, or the micro details in the upper treble. The sound stage is wide as far as IEMs go. It also has pretty decent forward depth and instrument layering. That's maybe one area that IEMs can struggle with in this price range. That and detail retrieval, again, detail retrieval is good though with this set. But the forward depth, while good for this price range, is still maybe a little more on the intimate side. Instrument imaging is also good as far as the left to right stereo imaging. It's easy to place the instruments within the sound field and they also have fairly good focus as well. So just to summarize my feelings and clarify where I feel the origin sits among the competition within this price range. In my opinion, it is the best dynamic driver set under $300 that I've heard. That includes the Dunu Falcon Ultra, Aria 2, Kato, and the Oxygen. Now, I do also have the Simgot Fermat EA1000, but I have not reviewed it yet, so I'm going to hold off on a detailed comparison for now. Other than to say it has more of a V-shaped signature and the origin is a little closer to my tuning preference, although the Fermat does have some pretty outstanding characteristics that I do feel make it a very competitive set. In a word, detail. I'll just leave it at that. So that's compared with other single dynamic driver sets. But what about sets with other driver configurations? Because ultimately we need to see how the origin competes within the market as a whole. Well, as I had stated earlier, in terms of technical performance, it's as good as any set I've heard under $300, regardless of driver configuration. However, in terms of tuning, this is where I have to kind of scale back my excitement just a little because I do feel there are a couple of sets that are tuned closer to my personal preference that have equal technical performance and actually cost less money. And those sets are the Chopin and the Performer 5, and I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. Again, both of those sets come closer to my personal tuning preference. They have more bass presence. They still maintain a smooth, natural mid-range and treble presentation. They have equal technical performance and they cost less money. As for whether or not the Origin is for you, if you are looking for a balanced set that has really good technical performance, is very natural sounding, and has a little more low mid presence, which will give you a little more of a warmth and a richness and maybe even a little more note weight, and you don't like that somewhat scooped out mid-range like what you might find in the Performer 5 and Chopin, then this might be a good option for you. But remember, it's $259. So it is on the higher end of the two to $300 price range. So that concludes my review of the Tanch Gym Origin. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. If you like my content, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you would please like this video, please share this video. I hope you guys have an awesome day.